It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. In the case of anybody. It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. Hi, hotties, kettles, tea stirs. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged. And in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. So you all know I review the show Summer House Martha's Vineyard which is the all black cast show that is on Bravo. Y'all get in the comments, let me know, have you been watching it? Have you been getting into it? I missed my last review, but I'm gonna re group last review and this re review together because it's supposed to be coming on on Sunday. It usually comes on after Real Housewives of Atlanta. So if you guys aren't caught up, you definitely can get caught up because we're only three episodes in. With that being said, unfortunately, I have some disturbing news to bring to you all. It seems as though one of the castmates, Bria, had been falsely accused and harassed by some authority in Germany. I have the full story here, but I'm just going to talk about it a little bit. It seems as though a woman had accused her of stealing something, her and her sister, and the police came up to her and... um took her and her sister without letting them know anything, um, didn't ask them for their IDs, passports, took all of their stuff, stripped them down naked, and in the end found out that they were innocent, apologized, but didn't help them any further. And she wants to find justice, and I want to help her find justice because all of this was done and it was completely unnecessary. And I want to bring awareness to just women in general. You definitely want to be careful when you're traveling to other countries. You want to know all the laws. Realistically, you can't know every single law in every single country, but the countries that you're traveling to, you definitely want to understand local and state laws or however they have it set up. You just want to understand more about the places that you're going to, especially information that you would need in order to get out of situations like this. Let's say you are falsely accused and they do take you in without any information and take all of your stuff and have you stripped naked. You want to know how to get out of this situation what type of people you need to call so this is definitely a situation I want to bring onto my platform to raise awareness for all women so you guys check out these videos get in a comment let me know what you think don't forget to like subscribe comment and hit the post notification bell so you are up to date each and every time that I upload hey TikTok family I normally don't make videos like this but I'm on vacation with my sister in the south of France we are staying in Cannes with my boyfriend Simon. For those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Bria. I'm an actress on Summer House Martha's Vineyard, and I'm here attending a film festival for business. I have been booked for events to my agent, and the festival goes from the 16th to the 29th. Yesterday, my sister and I were taken in by French authorities while we were shopping with my boyfriend because a woman had falsely claimed that we robbed her and Zara. We started the day at the Martinez Hotel where we had breakfast, and we were all dressed up because when you're here for the festival you're dressed up in all dresses and i had a big dresses on I'll, I'll add in videos and photos after we had pictures and breakfast at the martinez hotel we went to the corset to buy dresses for the campari event that we were booked for with my boyfriend we went to hugo boss we went to Zara together we went to claire's we went to a couple of boutiques my boyfriend and i had split up he had went to gucci and we had went to another zara as well as another boutique to find a dress we were then approached by 10 policemen on bicycles as we were walking down by the Versace store. They were screaming at us to stop walking and snatch our bags from us. Um, there was innocent bystanders around and if you've seen us in our dresses, can you please, and if you have any video footage, can you please send to me as soon as possible through Instagram? None of the police officers spoke English. They wouldn't let us call our family members or a lawyer. All they could say is that we matched the description of a robbery. My boyfriend and I, we stayed about literally five minutes away from where my sister and I were taken. And we were taken in by the officials without any knowledge. Nobody talked to us. They took us in and forced us into the car and said we weren't allowed to talk to anybody. We didn't know what was going on. My sister is 20 years old. She has never been in trouble. She has never had to do the things that they made us do when we got to the police station. I have never been in trouble and I have never been through what I've been through because of this. We had a police escort to the police station with three or four police officers on their motorcycles in the front, our car in the middle, and four more in the back racing through France to get to the police station. When we got to the police station, they took us under underground. 
where we were in a basement. Hey, TikTok, where we were underground in a basement. As I was in the car, I was trying to explain to them as the best way I can. I don't speak French. That I'm here because I'm an actress in the States. And I'm here because I was booked for events. And she looked me up on her phone and was like, oh, actress, actress laughing at me. And they were all making fun of me. When my sister and I got to the police station, they were explaining to the other police officers um, what, why we were there. We had our phones, so my phone died. My sister had her phone, so I was able to try to hurry. I told him to wait for my boyfriend to come. They wouldn't allow that. I called my mom as soon as I can, and I called my boyfriend, and I told him the precinct that I was at before they confiscated our phones from us. They didn't tell us anything. They wouldn't let me get in touch with a lawyer. I didn't know why I was there. I didn't know who called on us. I don't know. They then proceeded to take us downstairs where the inmates were being held. It was all Frenchmen screaming and yelling where they took us into a room and they drug tested us to see if we had been drinking. I was asking why, why are you guys doing this? And they were like, shh, no, no. The one police officer put on her phone protocol. So we blew in to the breathalyzer and both of our tests came back zero, zero, zero. We were then brought upstairs where we sat there for what felt like hours. We were there for a little bit, like two hours. And then a guy came out and was like, we have to search you and then figure out what we're going to do with you. A lady is here saying you robbed her. So I'm like, what? Like, we're in gowns. Like, what are you talking about? We went downstairs again where the inmates were in a room. They stripped us butt naked, made us bend over, took my hair extensions, took my earrings, my watch, made my 20-year-old sister do that. She has never been in trouble. She has never had to do anything like that in her life. We didn't deserve that. After we were stripped butt naked, we went back upstairs and sat there for another like 30 minutes. A detective guy came upstairs and said that my boyfriend was downstairs and that all is good. Um, we were brought to another office with computer screens and they were filing paperwork. It was a lady in there who made us strip again butt naked in this office and took our dresses inside out. We were naked there with our heels on, just naked, because she said she wanted to see for herself if we stole or not. I am so hurt by this experience. I have never been through this. I'm humiliated. This happened in front of everybody. And I want justice. Where we were on I want justice for what happened to my sister. They made us sign papers in French without letting us call a lawyer or anything. Our stuff was still taken. I don't know what I signed. I want a lawyer as soon as possible. If anyone knows a lawyer, an international lawyer that can help me with this case. They told me to go to the embassy since it happened on a Saturday. I can't go to the embassy until tomorrow morning, which is gonna be Monday. I was not received any paper or discharge papers. They will not give me my case number. They will not tell me anything. They told me to leave. My boyfriend had made videos and I'm gonna include the videos. If you if you are in Cannes right now and you saw us or you're a business owner that knew that we purchased everything and you took photos with us, please contact me as soon as possible. If there's any lawyers, please contact me to help me because I don't know what's going on. I was let out, but I want my case number. I want everybody that was involved. This is not okay. This is emotionally damaging to me. I'm scared to go out. They were asking how long we're gonna stay here for. I don't know if they're plotting again. I don't even know if there was a lady. I feel I feel like it was made up. And I feel like they only drug tested us to try to keep us there because they knew they fucked up. So I'm just asking for help and to spread awareness and to be careful. If you're a young woman of color or a young woman of anything, be careful because people could just make up things or you could just be taken by police without any explanation. And I'm traumatized by it. I don't know how I feel. I have another week left of vacation here and I want to go home. It's my one year anniversary and I'm very heartbroken. I'm gonna include the videos. Please, if anyone's seen me by the Versace store in Cannes, please send me videos. If you have any videos, because I knew there was people there taking videos of what was going on. But this is my sister and I. This was us at the Martinez Hotel before we went shopping. This was us and our driver before. I want justice for what happened. This is me looking at my driver to go shopping in front of Zara. My sister and I in a police station, as you can see, I was devastated. Station and can that held us. When I went back with a friend that's a translator and we went to the police station so she could translate, they told her, you're making a monologue, don't come to our police station with that. Um, they didn't give us any information, they didn't want to talk to us, they told us to go to the embassy or go to uh, the internal police on Monday. Um, they wouldn't let us in the police station. My friend recorded both conversations that we will, we will use to take legal action. And I just want to spread awareness to anybody that's on vacation. Please be careful. Always travel with a family member or a boyfriend. If my boyfriend wasn't there, I don't know what would happen. They could have created something. They were looking to create something. So the fact that I have a German white boyfriend who was able to go in and talk to a detective that was German also, 
it made things better because he explained to them that I was an actress in the States, that I was here, my agency did book me for big events here, and you know what the detective said? I'm very sorry. The woman probably called out of jealousy. So we get booked, we get butt naked, we get our items stripped from us from head to toe, a 20-year-old and a 27-year-old black American, because a lady, which we don't know what her ethnicity is, called and said that we robbed her for cash in Zara, where I have money, I'm a well-known actress, and you guys do that to me. You are not allowed to do that. You are not allowed to take me in, tell me nothing. You basically kidnapped me and my sister. You're not allowed to do any of that, and you do it anyways. And you don't get us a translator, you don't let us call a lawyer, you don't let us call my parents, you don't even know if she was a minor. And you did that shit to us. Justice will be served. I also want to include two more things. When we, when my boyfriend spoke to the detective, he told him that that lady probably did that out of jealousy. But like, you don't get to walk away with doing that out of jealousy. It doesn't work like that because what you put us through, if you're watching and you were the lady who did that, it was the most horrible thing you can ever do in your life. And I'm gonna let you know that. Second, when they dumped all of our belongings out on the street to see, we had every single receipt with every single item and I wanna share that with you guys as well. So they knew we didn't have anything on us. We, they knew we didn't rob and I didn't carry a purse. I didn't carry any money. I paid with my Apple Pay with my credit card the whole entire time because I don't carry cash when I'm on vacation. So I will show you that as well. These are the items that they dumped on the street and these are all of the receipts that it's paid. It says it was paid with credit. So we get booked, we get butt naked, we get our items stripped from us from head to toe, a 20 year old and a 27 year old black American because a lady, which we don't know what her ethnicity is, called and said that we robbed her for cash in Zara, where I have money, I'm a well-known actress, and you guys do that to me. You are not allowed to do that. You are not allowed to take me in, tell me nothing. You basically kidnapped me and my sister. You're not allowed to do any of that, and you do it anyways. And you don't get us a translator, you don't let us call a lawyer, you don't let us call my parents, you don't even know if she was a minor and you did that shit to us. Justice will be served. I also want to include two more things. When we, when my boyfriend spoke to the detective, he told him that that lady probably did that out of jealousy, mm. but like you don't get to walk away with doing that out of jealousy. It doesn't work like that because what you put us through, if you're watching and you were the lady who did that, it was the most horrible thing you can ever do in your life. And I'm gonna let you know that. Second, when they dumped all of our belongings out on the street to see, we had every single receipt with every single item. And I want to share that with you guys as well. So they knew we didn't have anything on us. We, they knew we didn't rob. And I didn't carry a purse. I didn't carry any money. I paid with my Apple Pay with my credit card the whole entire time because I don't carry cash when I'm on vacation. So I will show you that as well. These are the items that they dumped on the street. And these are all of the receipts that it's paid. It says it was paid with... So Brie Fleming from the hit TV show Martha's Vineyard has recently put out a series in regards to what occurred to her while she was in Cannes, France for work. Now at the beginning of that video, Brie shows a clip of her and her sister exiting from their car in front of Zara's. When they entered into the store and when they were finished shopping, I guess a passerby stated that Brie and her sister had robbed her for cash. The police then showed up with no translator, booked the two women, and strip searched them. And it took Bree's boyfriend to basically explain the whole situation to the police that she was there for a booked engagement. Now she posted this video about four days ago, so I don't know if there's any more updates, but if there are, I'm gonna keep you guys posted. Make sure you travel safe while you're abroad. Yeah. Entertainment purpose only. It's not in the case of anybody. It's just entertainment purpose only. It's not in the